Okay, Saturday morning on location in the kingdom. Yes, on location. I will overdress for the weather. Yes, it's plus three here in the kingdom this morning. And, but it feels like zero. Yes, zero. So we're not sure if it's going to rain or snow today. We don't know. But on the yo-yo scale, plus 37. Yes, I have a 37 Dodge hot rod truck. Yes, the good times. And it feels like plus 32. So it's just about freezing for them USA folks. Yes. And Amazon has my eighth book of the Winter Road series on for being free. Yes. Thor to the rescue. The plow truck in 2019. Rescuing to save the world. Yes. And we didn't get paid. Well, we got paid like nine months later. Minor detail. But it's free as an ebook from April 6th to the 10th, 2024. Yes. So enjoy the book and read about the good times before the great lockdown. All right, so I'm standing in the middle of the yard. And we have to thank a kingdom follower, YouTube subscriber. There, I got it right. Look at that. See that? I got a paper cut. Yes, a paper cut. And we had to put the camo band-aids on. These things are far better than the Sesame Street band-aids we buy here locally in Whoville. So we thank the kingdom follower, YouTube subscriber that sent us band-aids for our boo-boos. Yes, these are good stuff. All right, let's see if we can do a scroll. We're not sure what we're doing today because we don't know about the weather. There's a slight breeze. I don't know if you can pick that up on the Lily Tomlin mic. All right, but the snow is melting quickly, actually too quickly for us. Yes, it feels unreal. This is unreal. I can't remember it. Oh, wait, I have an alcohol problem, so that's why I can't remember anything. All right, so the snow is dropping big time. Oh, just unreal. So we were this time last year, according to Facebook memories, we were having fun with the caboose, the lens, the cats. We were still having fun. And it was warm enough, cold enough, but warm enough that the me phones didn't, how to say, censor us and quit. That's why I'm probably censored right now because the me phone's been away from the whole shack. So it's not used to this outdoor weather. All right. According to Amazon, the flag for the Rustolian boat should be here. Any day now. Yes, and we can hang it up and then we can have a good, colorful, how would you say, pictures in the kingdom. All right, I think I almost made one rotation around and I'm just about dizzy. Oh, I can taste that beverage now. All right, let's go walk the dogs. I don't know, have some coffee and get to work because the boss is an asshole, even on a Saturday. Okay, we thought we'd be working outside here today because I need my C-clamps up here. Those vice grips that are holding the roof on. and But everything is still frozen. It's too slippery on the other side, so it's kind of pointless. So if we wait a couple more days and then we can work on the roof and seal it in. It survived all winter with the snow blowing on it and everything like that. So I think if we wait a couple of days and then we can do it right. Because I thought of moving all this snow to get the straps out. And then how do you support the ladder and stuff like that. So it's a mutual agreement between the staff and I. Uh, we'll drink beer and we'll watch the snow melt. Saturday morning in Whoville and it's just after 10 a.m. and I'm finally rolling out of bed. I had a pretty rough sleep last night. I was tossing and turning. As you can see, the sun's kind of out. We have some clouds rolling in as well. It is also really warm out already, so it might snow later on or maybe we'll get some rain. That's what's forecasted on the weather, but we all know that's lies. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, make breakfast. 11 a.m. and I just got the quad out. It was pretty fun getting it out of the quad shed here. There's a bit of snow left, so I'll have to do some shoveling this afternoon to make it wide enough for me to get in. I cannot park in the yard because it is way too soft. As you can see here, we almost got stuck, so now it's time to head shopping. 11.30 and I just made it home from the store for three bags and four water jugs. It was $179, but I was able to get a lot on sale. I didn't have a list to go with, so I just grabbed anything that was on sale. Now it's time to haul it all inside and divide it up and then start lunch. I will be going over to the kingdom at 1 p.m. Almost 1 p.m. and I'm just finishing up lunch. I had a sandwich today because I got lots of sandwich meat and lettuce at the store that was on sale. Now it's time to head on over to the kingdom and see what my dad's up to. Hopefully I don't get stuck going into the driveway. Just got the winter front and the canvases off of free fall here. All the cardboard will go into the wood stove and get burned and then the canvases will get tagged and put into the trailers for next season. I'm sure once we take all this off, it'll snow and we'll have to put them all back on again. 
Got all the cats in front of the house changed over. The only one that doesn't get the canvases off is the hood here. We leave that one alone until my dad makes some wooden sides for it. But now I'll do the cats over here, and then we'll go by the shop and get those ones. Almost 2 p.m. We officially got all the cats changed over to the spring slash summer fronts. If it does snow and get cold again, we can always put the winters back on. But now it's time to head down to the shop and see what my dad's up to. 2 p.m. officially done in the kingdom. All we had to do today was get the winter fronts off all the cats. Now my dad's back in the shop because it's way too warm and slushy out here. Now it's time to head on back into Whoville and put the quad away. Just after 2 p.m. and I made it home from the kingdom. I got stuck trying to get out of there. My dad had to push me out and then once I got going, I did not stop until I got back out of the driveway. Now I'm going to clean out right here so I can put the quad away. Almost 2.30, I got the quad put away. I didn't have to shovel very much. The quad was able to make it in there, no problem. I had a harder time getting out of the kingdom than I did getting into the shed here. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, and then I'm going to head to the school and go print off some stuff and get the work ready for Monday for the kids. 4.30, I just made it home from the school. I got all my paperwork and stuff ready for the week, and now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, and do the weather. 5.30 and this is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's 9 degrees Celsius, which is 48 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. It's been extra warm today. A lot has melted as you can see. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs back in because they've been out a while, make supper, and end my day. So I spent the morning in here working on the thir on the 46, but I'll show you on the 38 here. This was done back in 2012. There's wood that goes out here. And this is the little tray that keeps it going and then it anchors it and there's fancy floorboards and everything. But back then we just welded it because we got to get the post, the door post to line up with this and all that. So let's go see what we're doing over here on the 46. So we did this in 2012. But also too, we have a lot of better, better tools. We have the three in one breaker. Oh yes. And the plasma cutter, the Pro Point 30A Plus. We'll have that out after lunch making some sparks. Okay, so what we're doing here, I'll just slowly walk over. All right. So they have a lip in here, a piece, and it, the rust gets in here and it wedges it all up. So we cleaned it all out, ground it out because it's pop riveted on. So now we can use the three in one bender brake to make a plate in here. Use the plasma cutter to cut out that rusty parts. Yes, yeah, so this is all lining up. I lucked out with this truck. How would you say, still being on the frame and the holes all line up, so we're in good shape. There's wood under here, but after 80 years, it's still good. Yes, it's hard to believe, it's solid and stuff like that. So we'll be replacing some pieces over here with some rubber, but then in other words, this truck is in really good shape and stuff like that compared to the 45 Chevy three ton we did and that 38 Maple Leaf. But nobody, nothing compares to that 38 GMC because that was a farm truck and we knew it personally and it was in good shape. So after lunch, we're going to start welding, plasma cutting and getting this cab nice and solid. So we'll pass a safety after my death when somebody buys it. Okay, coffee time in the kingdom and I was a busy boy. Yes, I was reliving grade three all over again because I was in that class a couple of years, I think it was. So I don't have enough talent, as you say, sober, to cut a template out. So what I did was cut little pieces and then tape it together. That way it kind of fits. So in theory, we want this to fit here. And that's the bolt hole for the frame. These are weld holes. Because if you weld it here and here, this can egg up. And this is where the frame is. So you want some strength in here. So what we're doing is putting a plate over top. The old system curved up went like this this was an open space but i'm going after this meat here as they say oops hand and eye coordination i'm going after this solid piece right here because that's part of the body on the outside so it gives it structure so if we weld into here all right and then tap this in with a plate or slope it down oh hand and eye coordination that's what happens when you're sober okay so that should give us strength we did it on the other one and we took our template here and put it over here and got us some quality pieces and then over there is that side there so we made lefts and rights yeah we put them together cut them out as two flipped one over to call it left and right and one of the joys of the hobart handler 100 is it's light it's a suitcase welder so an old guy like me can carry it put it in here because i'm not going to go back and forth either side with the welding cart and two the welding cart doesn't pass through there I tried, so I had to carry it over here all by myself. 
So with the Hobart Handler 100 right here, I'll be able to weld on this side, okay? And then I can scoot over to that side to make the same mistakes that I made over on this side. Pretty smart thinking, eh? So let's go have some coffee, I mean some vodka, I mean some beer, and get this project underway. Okay, I open the shop doors for ventilation and light. Yes, light, we need some light here. So this is actually going very well. I guess it was the vodka I drank at coffee time there. All right, so having the Hobart Handler 100 in here, I'm fine tuning it. So I did my first passes or whatever, where it's rusted, I was down to, to below 10 and then I cranked it up. And then for welding the thicker stuff, I was up to 20. I don't know if we can see it over there, Les Nesman, there. So this is working out good. So I have this side roughed in. So welding this thick stuff here, I just finished that, that's warm, don't touch it. All right, so that was at 20. This worked out good. I was able to lever this down and get the bubble or the egg out of the middle. So it's actually working pretty good over this side here where it was kind of rusted there. I was down to 10. But the main thing is, is we have that anchored into the support up there, okay? So we go over to this side. This is the support here. This is the main structure of the body right here, okay? We need that because that keeps everything straight. And this is how I'm keeping the cab into the right location while I'm doing all my welding. Okay, now I can get ready to weld this. I got to weld some cracks up in here and stuff. And we got paint marker everywhere, so that works out good. So hopefully this side will be a little, well, it'll be a little more work because we're missing some over here. But that's no problem as long as we got a good base. If and when we take the cab off, we can always do the welds from underneath and stuff like that to improve it, okay? So everything we do is long term. You got to remember that this truck came to the kingdom over 21 years ago and we're still working on it, all right? And in the 38 Maple Leaf there, I rode around my poopy diaper in it. So that thing's been in the family a long, long time. I think Noah had his boat going offering the cruises for two by twos. Okay, once the sun went past the doors, it got chilly in here because that sun was beating in. It was nice and warm. Okay, so we shut the doors and we're in full production here. All right, so here we got out the gray file folder. We made another template. I cut it freehand. Uh, no marker, no nothing, no measurements. All right, so we know we got this welded in here. So that's a structural strength piece there, according to... Uh, Einstein, that'll be a guy. That's the word of the week, Einstein. So this will fit in here like that, okay? So we're using that rivet bolt there as a guideline because I cut the pieces the same because over there, it's dark over there. So that piece fits too. So we, that way we're making it the same. So now we'll do some welds around and then we got to make a piece for the strip here to replace this. It's rusted. Now we'll give this, this plate or pad or whatever strength and then we can uh, join it down here to here and maybe splash the paint today we're not sure we're having a good day here just minding our own business staying focused and not drinking too much okay seven o'clock in the kingdom and we did it we set our goals and what we want done today and we did it ah, too bad it wasn't like that in the bedroom all right so all the cracks on the firewall that are painted with the silver paint are done yes okay so that's the main thing the silver paint is just a protective coating so 10 years from now when i actually get around to finishing it and painting it it'll be done so we have the front cab mounts all finished so it worked out pretty good we splashed the paint around i released the straps here okay over here all right so then the cab went back in or moved over so the hole was lined up straight there so this worked out very well very pleased okay this was a lot easier then when I did the 45, I didn't have the Hobart Hobart Handler 100 MIG welder right here. That's so nice to set it on here. I had a Lincoln one. It was a piece of crap and it was gas fed or whatever. And we didn't have any gas or whatever. So I don't know. It was just a long story. It was a joke. We didn't have the three in one bender break right over here. Oh, look at that. The sun just beating in the window there. So cutting the pieces plus the plasma cutters. So reaching in and nipping things out works so good. So we're very pleased with this. We got lots of welds on it. So it'll last another 80 years. And tomorrow we're going to have to weld back in here. It's Sunday, so we'll have to have a relaxing day. See, somebody put the big strap across there, which is good. And they kind of broke up over here. But at least this cab is not bad of shape compared to the other ones. All right, let's go see what the flags are doing. I doubt if I can walk over there. 
Okay, I think we're going to be short for video feed today because we're trapped in the shop due to weather. Yes, oh, the weather. So we'll find something we did today on this day back in, uh, I don't know when. Back to the future. No, back to the past. All right. Okay, late last night in the cover of darkness before I got too drunk, I mean bedtime, I unloaded the semi from with this pallet. So it was nice parts that I bought back in January finally arriving because I know the price has increased drastically on these items now with uh, the events of the world today. And of course the puppy dog has to check it out. So today we'll be unpackaging these boxes and smiling because we just bettered ourselves instead of spending the money foolishly on women like I did in the past. Well, this makes my day. I felt like that Carter fellow opening King Tut's tomb. But this is what I need to build the tribute truck for in memory of my dad. It's a nice three-in-one bender, roller, brake, whatever you want to call it. Rodney at Westrands imported it from the far east of Canada. All right, now we can have some fun. I'll even read the instructions and watch a YouTube video so I'm an expert. Well, that went pretty good and pretty quick. I dragged this table out from in the new shop there. I don't know if you can see it. But I had to use the mini hoe to dig it out for some reason. Maybe if I had a roof on the shop, it wouldn't uh, have as much snow in it. But I needed this workbench because it's one inch steel come from the mine when the mine was operating. So my little three-in-one thingy me bob will sit nicely on it. I'll get it all squared up at the other end here. I'll drill several holes because I'll make a mistake. And using the green rut maker, green forklift to lift the pallet over worked out pretty good. All right, now I got to go have some lunch and then we can have some more fun. Okay, we're at the card lock in Whoville. We're filling up the 86 Dodge Headhanger because it doesn't have any payments. Now, I couldn't afford this gas at, you know, if I had $600 a month payments on the 86 Dodge Headhanger. Staff is filling the jerry cans because we know the card lock card will cut out at $300. So we'll see what we're at right now. So we're $247, $1.54 a liter. So we might get $300 and fill the jerry cans too. All right, talk to you later. Hey, here's the staff coming along having a bad day look at that the white box falls off oh and she runs over it oops that's okay that's all right she's that's her inheritance but oh she backs up oh and then we're gonna stop here i don't know why i paused i have no idea okay there she backs up gets out oh she didn't kick it or anything which is good picks it up oh well it's the only new parts okay then she heads off to the shop put it away Oh well, she handled it very well. Oh well, not too upset. It's her inheritance. Okay, talk to you guys later. Okay, it's a nice Saturday afternoon here. We're plowing with Thor the plow truck. I pay taxes in Whoville here, plus to the government of Manitoba for the Department of Holidays. So I have to plow the road into the kingdom in the back way. We have semi trucks coming, so we have to cut it down because we had some wind and drifted it in pretty good at the down a little farther. I'm not videotaping that because I'll be driving the truck. All right, more to come. All right, sorry for no videos the last couple of days, but I had to do a picture book for Amazon so my kingdom followers around the world can see all my collectibles. And I'm colorblind, so working with pictures was like working with the Rubik's Cube when it first came out in my younger years. But we're just outside here showing the kingdom. It's minus five and it's snowing. So I guess spring is on its way. But oh well, we're gonna have some fun later on now that I'm done, you know, writing books or whatever. But I'll probably have to do a couple more, keep everybody happy around the world. All right, we'll talk to you later. 
Okay, look at this sun. It's just about straight west of the kingdom here. And the cats look good now that they have their winter fronts and their canopies or canvases taken off. So now they look like normal cats, winter freighting cats with windshields. And I'm not walking over to look at the flags because I'm going to get a boot full of water or a shoe full of water. Look at the flag, the little flag of exercise. All right, let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer and make a video. Talk to you later.